Hello there my music lovers, I'm Josh from the file heaven and today we are having a look at a very special product. This is the Plus Sound Copper Plus Cable and it is priced at 1000 US dollars. So let's see what the cable costing 1 grand can do. The package for the Plus Sound Copper Plus Cable is really really good. They actually ship their cables in a really good package. It comes with a little glass front. We also get a carrying pouch for the cable or rather for the cable and the EMC it will be connected to. We have a very soft texture inside the pouch to protect the cable and the EMC it is attached to from scratches. And we also have the warranty card here. We have a cleaning cloth as well and we have a chinch to keep the cable from tangling. When reviewing a cable that costs one grand and actually making a video about it, I have to be honest with you. The price is the biggest element that is going to drive you to this video and which is going to drive your opinions about the cable. And we should forget the price for a second, like we should judge the product for what it is and then see how it matches to its own price. Because if we judge only its price, if we focus too much on the price, we are going to lose track of what we are reviewing. We are reviewing an audio cable and we want to see if it is good or not. Especially because a lot of my friends and a lot of people on the internet try to argue whether expensive cables are good or not. I'm going just to talk about it for a second. This is a 4.4 balanced cable. It can be ended in any ending you desire, but the 4.4 balanced is going to make the most sense considering today's dubs and today's players and today's sources. This one, the one I have, is ended in two pin connectors. So it is made for two pin based DMs. It will not work with something like uh, Campfire Ara or Campfire Vega or Campfire Holocene, but I do have adapters for those as well. The cable quality is great. It is not extremely long. The length is actually shorter than most EM cables I see around nowadays. I would say it is below 1.8 meters. It is 1.2 towards 1.5. I have not measured it, but we can do a live measurement. So measuring the cable, we have exactly 1.2, yes, 120 centimeters. I knew it. As you can see, the video needs to have 10 minutes in length so that I can monetize it. Reviewing the cable is actually something complicated because a lot of you are going to be saying that it can't be worth 1000 US dollars. And then there's the other camp who says that it is totally worth it. The main problem here is that it really depends on your overall perception about value of stuff, like if you already have an EM that is too grand and you want to upgrade them to the next level, you could invest in a cable that is one grand. It still doesn't really make that much sense, at least if you aren't used to how much cables can improve sound, but the Plus Sound Copper Plus can improve the sound quite a bit. In terms of Sonics, compared to the default cables of EMs and to most other cables I have, it is one of the most natural sounding cables. It has a very deep type of sound, very good bass, very clean and very well lined bass. You really hear an outline of bass of everything. Everything just seems to be better focused, more clear with less background noise and everything just seems to have that black background with extremely good precision and very good detail. Everything just seems to be more transparent with more detail actually. The problem is that of course when paying one thousand US dollars for a cable, you really need to answer to some questions. For example, how much did you pay for the EMs? How much did you pay for the source? And whether it is in balance with the cost of those? Because for example, I've used it a lot with IMR Audio Ozar, which is 400 Great Britain pounds, so it is not even as expensive as the cable. And despite the fact that the Ozar comes with two cables in the package, I still prefer the sound with the Plus Sound Copper Plus. It can really help both expensive and both affordable EMs, but when you really look at things, you, you can't really bring yourself to spend 1000 US dollars on a cable if you have a cheap EM or if your EM isn't at least at this price point, because you will want to invest in the EM before. As I always say, and I will say this in this video as well, I would repeat myself, the most important parts about audio are as it follows. First, you should upgrade the EMs or the headphones you are using or the speakers, then the amplifier part, or the DAP, and then the DAC, the DAC part is the third, then you should upgrade cables, then you should upgrade everything else. This is pretty much the order. So power conditioners, streamers and such are on the last spot, while uh, doing upgrades on the cable is, is better than that, doing upgrades on the DAC is better, doing upgrades on the amplifier 
is better and doing upgrades on the EM slash headphones or speakers is the best. That is where you get the most bang for your buck. That is where you see the most increments with every single dollar spent. With a cable, you see less increments with more money spent. Sometimes it is all about the ergonomics because for example, I have reviewed the Dunu Audio Hulk and the Dunu Audio Hulk was actually very thick. It was very heavy and it was not practical at all. I liked its sound. It was quite full sounding with a smoother treble, but the overall thickness and weight of the cable was unbearable for me. I couldn't take it outdoors. The Plus Sound Copper Plus has the perfect length from the ears to my pocket. I can keep it up in my pocket and be really happy with this length. It is perfect. It is not too solid. It is just flexible enough to make sense. It is very well made, like this is well made. It also has incredibly good sound. It has very good ergonomics and it has this 4.4 gold plated connector, which I enjoy a lot. This is because I've been using Gastel and Kiern Dubs a lot lately, both the CA180 and CP2000 T. They just sound the best out of their balanced connector and using the 4.4 connector gives me peace of mind because it is thicker, it is better built than the 2.5 balanced connectors. I did comparison using the Copper Plus, not just against other cables, but against other good cables. I tested it against the Evo One from Effect Audio. I tested it against the Duno Hulk. I tested it against good default cables from EMS. From absolutely every single cable I tested so far, it has the best overall clarity, the best overall transparency. It has the deepest and the fullest bass. Somehow it tends to sound fuller and deeper. And it tends to have a very clear, very sparkly and very transparent treble. I would say that I cannot really attribute any of those sonic changes to anything in particular. I could do volume matching because I do have a, an SPL matter, but it was absolutely impossible to do it quick swapping. Like you need to remove this cable from the EM. I don't have two of the same EMs to do the test. And I've used it with quite a few EMs. For example, with Unique Melody Mass Mark II has a very clear sound already. It has a deep bass. It already has a beautiful sound, but adding this cable actually improved the sound a lot. It made everything better. You are going to be asking me whether I'm recommending you to purchase it. And that is slightly more complicated. You need to have this money to purchase it. Like you really need to have the money to buy it. I, I cannot really recommend you to buy it if you don't have money for better EMs or if you are trying to save up for a DAP or for a better investment. If your current investment is in the source for your music, then go for it. If you if your current investment is going to be in EMs, go for it. This is the last step you should be taking. But if you already have a source that you're fully satisfied with, if you already have excellent sounding EMs, and if you have everything else already, if everything else is going just right, and you are unsatisfied with the cable of your EMs, and you have a ton of money because one grand is quite a bit for a single cable, then I totally recommend the Copper Plus. We are talking about high-end cables here. We are talking about it giving you those last few bits of increment that are possible from your current setup. We aren't really talking about just purchasing an ergonomic cable because there are other options, but nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, is quite as clear and as resolute as the Plus Sound Copper Plus. Nothing is quite as expensive either as far as I tested cables to this day. So that might be a contributing factor. I am not sure if I believe that the differences in materials make the differences or the differences in electronic interference isolation. I still don't know why cables do sound different. And I actually made a very long disclaimer in some reviews where I explained that even subjective impressions are bound to be affected by expectation bias and other mental effects. At the end of the day, we are humans. We are not machines. We are not measurement apparatus. And if switching between this and another cable, for example, the default cable that the Unique Melody Mask Smart 2 comes with, and if switching between them back and forth 10 times, every single time, I could say that this sounds better. If doing the blind test, I could do that. And if doing that test blindfolded, I could say that again, then it does sound better. Like there is no other test I can take. We could measure a DAP driving a pair of VMs using this cable versus using their default cable, for example, and measure the sound that comes out of the EMs, not just measure the cable electrically, but measure whether the final sound is different or not, because that is going to matter. That is where things are. 
whether the final sound is different, not just if the component measures differently, because at the end of the day, I've seen some crazy things. The sound is composed of other characteristics as well. For example, temporal decay and how the cable might interact with the impedance of your EMs, because no conductor is perfectly conductive. Every single thing has some impedance in some frequencies and at the end of the day, every single conductor will sound slightly different. Whether we hear that difference or not is up to us. I hope that this video has been enjoyable to watch. I hope you won't judge too much the fact that I reviewed an interesting cable. I am really curious what your opinion on the subject is. Please start typing your comments in the comment box. I'm curious to know your feelings, whether this is too expensive for you, whether it is made for you, whether you enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like on this video and please press subscribe. It really warms my heart to know that you're out there looking for me. I really hope that you have the loveliest of weeks in there and I hope we'll see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye.